Alright, we are going to look at some um, real solutions for quadratic equations. Um, just like before, uh, we're going to set this up to solve by graphing. Right, and to do that, we're going to subtract if we, from the standard form ax squared plus bx equals c, or equals 0. We are going to move the c over to the other side. In this case, the c is the constant. So if I subtract 1, I've got 2x squared plus 4x equals negative 1. Same thing here. 2x squared plus 4x equals negative 2. And 2x squared plus 4x equals negative 3. And we can see that I have just moved the constant to the right side. And then we're going to graph f of x. So our f of x is going to be the left side. 2x squared plus 4x over here. Same thing. 2x squared plus 4x. And right here, same thing. 2x squared plus 4x. And our g of x is going to be what we put on the other side. And any solution is going to be where they cross, right? So where one graph meets the other. Well, it's set up for us right here. It is set up where um, 2x squared plus 4x, right, is drawn for us. So all we've got to do is graph negative 1. And it looks like the scale's by 1 that way. So there's negative 1. And we can see that this one right here has a solution in two places. So the first graph the two lines cross. Negative 1 crosses 2x squared plus 4x twice. The second one, well this was a negative 2, right? Let's graph negative 2. Only has one solution right there. Right? And the third one, if I put a negative 3, look they never touch, so there's no real solutions. Now, if you notice this one is very similar <coughs> with a couple exceptions. Instead of 2x squared, we have negative 2x squared. And our graph's going to look a little different right here. But same concept, right? We move the c. So negative 2x squared plus 4x. This time I add 1 to, side, to both sides. Negative 2x squared plus 4x. This time I add 2 to both sides. And negative 2x squared plus 4x. And this time I add 3. So my f of x is going to be the left side. So negative 2x squared plus 4x all the way down. All right, we're just going to keep writing that negative 2x squared plus 4x. All right. But now my c is going to be, right, it's going to be positive instead of negative. So the equations are a little bit different. All right. So. Let's put 1 there. There's our 1. Still has two solutions. Here's our 2. This one also has one solution. And the one up here has zero solutions. So there's a little bit more on the other side. All right. It says look back at steps A and B. And find the minimal value of f of x in each step. Um, and we've got what? a and b is, I'm sorry, notice that the minimum value of f of x in steps a and b is negative 2. Alright, complete the um, table by identifying how many real solutions um, the equations f of x equals g of x has for the given value. Alright, so if we went back to it, alright, so if I look here, I can, I can check out that now we're going to use inequalities, right? So, what I have is if g of x is equal to negative 2, right? The number of real solutions f of x equals g of x, right? If it equals negative 2, so where we at equals negative 2 my number of solutions is 1 right there All right. I have one solution All right. if it's greater than negative 2 right, so when it was greater than negative 2 no matter where I draw this line no matter where I draw it I draw one up here draw one up here draw one up here we're gonna have two solutions right and if it's less, I'm going to have zero. Let's explain that. So it's talking right here. 
says anytime I'm equal to this vertex, I have one solution. Anytime I have a straight line higher than that vertex, like if I put one way up here, it would cross twice here and here. Anytime I'm below this vertex, I'm going to have no solutions. So, same thing here, right? A little bit different. Anytime I'm equal to 2 is now going to be one solution. When I'm greater than 2, it's going to be 0, and less than 2 is going to be 2. So we're talking about this one. Anytime I'm equal to 2, I have 1 right there on the vertex. When I'm greater, there's none. It doesn't touch up here. When I'm down here, it's going to have two solutions. All right. So, that's going to be the end of the first video. You can see how graphing is when the solutions, uh, when you find solutions where the two graphs intercept each other. They touch. All right. We'll come back soon.